I'm back now with the distillation setup. I got a uh, 500 milliliter round bottom flask to which is attached uh, still head and then um, one end of the still head is attached to the thermometer. You could see clearly that the tip of the thermometer is right at where the still head connects to the condenser. That gives you a better reading. And then we're not stirring anything but of course I did put a couple of specks of boiling chips you can see it there and then I connected the mantle to the rheostat and then which goes into the power supply you could see I have set it at about 10 yeah, I've set it about 20 you don't want to superheat it too quickly as I said the product distills between 49 degrees C and 52 degrees C so anything you collect before and anything you collect after is not something you want. So if you do rapid heating, uh, what happens is the temperature is going to shoot up really quick and you probably will not get what you want. So don't rush this process. Take your time. Currently, the temperature is at, you can see it, right? 25 degrees C. That's about room temperature in this building. So we're going to wait till, we're going to collect whatever comes through, if anything comes through at all before 49 into this flask and I will immediately switch it to a different flask at 49 and I will collect anything that comes within 49 and 52 and then I am done with the lab. That's just as that simple and of course don't forget to turn on your condenser and if you keep the temperature low and when you see that the temperature is about 49 and 52 start collecting your product and that's a pretty simple setup. Okay. All right, I will tell you, I will come back when the product is distillating and I'll show you the temperature and how the flask looks like at that temperature. You'll probably be seeing good bit of reflex and distillation going on. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Um, as you could see, there's gentle boiling. That's all you really need. Keep in mind, we have such a small quantity of volume. If you put a ton of heat, it's going to evaporate and you'll be left with nothing and you're going to shoot the temperature off the chart. So I've set it about 20. That's probably good. You can even go a little low. And um, let me walk you through the temperature. I started, I removed that flask that I had earlier and I put a different one. And I started collecting everything that came above 48 49 in spot to hit 50 and when it gets to 52 i'm going to shut off the heat and put another waste uh, beaker underneath that distillate end so you can see that's t-butyl chloride right there that's it you don't want anything before 49 you don't want anything before 52 you'll get a lot of stuff that's probably just Whatever is coming before 49, something that has a boiling point less than 49 will come through. We don't need that. What we're getting right now is our T-butyl chloride and then we'll be done with our lab. So, we walk you through back to the temperature. We're at about 49 right now. It's going to stay there for a little bit because we got a lot of the, uh, lot of the vapor coming through. So, when it gets to 52, I'm going to shut off and then I'm going to show you the final yield and that's the end of t-butyl lab now how simple is that because i did it in an organized manner i didn't rush through any part of the procedure and you can follow the handout or you can follow my video whatever works for you but we're collecting pure t-butyl chloride in that measuring cylinder once i get past 52 i'm gonna just put another beaker and turn off the heat and cut off the water supply and we'll be done with our lab and then we can then calculate the percent yield and all that good stuff but that's pretty much the end of the lab so let me just capture everything so we put about 10 milliliters of uh, t-butyl alcohol with 35 milliliters of hydrochloric acid we shook it in a separatory funnel separated out the lower aqueous layer to the top layer to the to the to the remaining portion we added 10 milliliters of diesel water shaked separated out the aqueous layer that we didn't need. To the organic layer, we added 5% sodium bicarbonate, shook, and then took care of the aqueous layer, which we didn't need. And then to the organic layer, we added uh, calcium chloride and got rid of the moisture, put the distill back in here, and then uh, 
and then I think I'm getting done. I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm done. Okay, I'll see you back with another video. Bye-bye. All right, here's the final video in the T-butyl synthesis uh, video series. Here we have our pure T-butyl chloride. All I did is just collected the distillate and as I said, if you collect between 49 degrees and 52 degrees, the product that you'll have would be your T-butyl bromide. And I calculated the percent yield of this liquid in here. It came out to be at 49%. Not bad. Not great either, but the idea here is now students can work on this technique and uh, it's a pretty simple lab. Again, simple doesn't mean it's fast. All right, I'll uh, see you all with the next experiment pretty soon. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.